So as you're walking through this journey with somebody else or a small group of people, I think one of the things that's really key that we want to emphasize over and over again is that this is not just, okay, lessons, walk through, check off. All right, we've covered that, we've covered that, now we've made disciples. This is really sharing life with somebody. And the root of that and what this whole lesson's about is, is loving somebody else. I mean, you're in disciple making. There's a real sense in which you're laying down your life for somebody else. You're saying, I want to pray for you. I want to be vulnerable with you. I, I, want to, I want to do whatever I can to serve you, to help you grow in Christ and make disciples of Christ eventually in your own life. And so that whole process just permeated with love. But that means it's not always easy either. Yeah. So I, I mean, well, that's it's hard because for, for some people, I, I don't know the way you are, but I'm very task driven. Yeah, yeah. Like if I'm reading a book, I want to get through it. Like I, mm-hmm. I just, I want to finish it. And so it's easy for me yeah. if I got these lessons where I go, okay, we got to get through lesson three. And I get so focused on, okay, I got them through it. I got them to mm-hmm. believe that we forget what scripture teaches is love, love, like love the Lord your God, love your neighbor as mm-hmm. yourself. You, you could do all these religious acts like 1 Corinthians 13 says, but if you don't have love, he's saying it, it, you're, you're a noisy gong or a clanging yeah. cymbal. So I think it's a good time to think through the people you're leading and going, okay, do I care about them? Mm-hmm. Do I love, did I really pray for them this week? Yeah, and to really check yourself in that process continually. But I, I can think of times where I've been walking through some kind of material with somebody, and we've just been walking through it, and they start to share something that's, even it's kind of opening a window into some deep struggle or in their life, and then I'm thinking, all right, what's the next question we got to get through? And that's yeah. right, i got to yeah. pause and say, no, this is, point is not, and we're kind of programmed to that, to do that, to think through, okay, discipleship is what happens in an hour, hour and a half meeting once a week, as opposed to, no, this is, this is a foundational time where you're walking through the Word together, but this is, this is a bridge into sharing life on all kinds of different levels, even, even when people are walking through, especially when people are walking through difficulties. Yeah, yeah, like I was, um, I, I was in San Francisco just walking the streets, and this guy comes up to me and goes, Francis, you know, and I start hearing his story, he had just got out of prison. He was in a halfway house, and he was telling me about how he, they were doing the DVD series Crazy Love in prison, and and so he knew my face and everything else. I'm like, wow, that's that's kind of crazy. But I started hanging out with this guy because he was telling me a story about how he was trying to get a job, but no one wants to hire him because he spent the last six years in prison. Um, he's married, he's got uh, two kids, and he just got his wife pregnant again. He's going, I don't know what I'm going to do. I only got a few more months in this place. And, and, and this is unique because a lot of times I'm, I'm busy and I just want to get mm. past a conversation. But the more I got to know this guy, like the Lord really gave me a love for him. Mm. And so then it was like, wait, I, I'm supposed to love him like myself. And, and so it's like, okay, well, I'm going to help you figure this out. I'll, I'll help find a place for you to live and and I'll help find a job. For, we'll, we'll figure this out together and I'm going to help you with the word because I, I just love this guy. And, and pretty soon it's like, oh, I can't find anywhere for him to live. It's like, okay, come on, you guys just all move in with us. You know, and, and so it's just been this process and it's been life. It's been, you know, seeing the way he interacts with his wife and 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 him getting to see how I interact with my wife. It's, it's like he sees how I raise my kids. It's It's life on life. It's about love. And that's the heart is at the core of it is I love this guy. I want to see him walk with the Lord. I want him to have a right relationship with other people, with his own children. And and that's the heart uh, yes. of this. So you might invite, meet someone on the streets and invite them into your home to live with you. So that's one way this could play out. Or also, the, the big picture is invite them into your life. Like expose them to your life with all of its inconsistencies. It's not, again, that anybody's ever got all this figured out. But this is a picture of laying down your life, of loving somebody. So how, how are you praying for the people that you're discipling? How are you, how are you serving them? And how are you inviting them into your life in an intentional way that you're showing them what the life of Christ looks like in action? Make sure that's central, not just going through a lesson. Yeah, don't, and don't feel bad if you're going, wow, I'm not really loving, because I've caught myself <laughs> so many times doing that. In fact, I have in, the, you know, in my Bible these questions I ask before I speak, and the number two question is, do I even love these people? Because mm. I'll just sometimes get up there and do my thing mm. and not even 
care, like have the heart. And so I got to remind myself and go, oh man, I forgot I'm supposed to love them. And so understand we all struggle with this. It's a supernatural thing. We got to pray, Lord, make me more loving. So throughout the week, I'm thinking about this person that I'm teaching and truly loving them in a supernatural way. Hmm.